have seen the outrage. President Obama, Vice President Biden, Attorney General Eric Holder, all no shows at the Paris Unity Rally. That was a really bad decision, even the White House now finally admitting it. Is the president upset that this decision that involved all these other world leaders, that it, it just never reached his desk? Uh, not that I'm aware of. What I find inexplicable are President Obama's and his cabinet's refusal to go to participate. Who made the decision that it shouldn't go to the president, that he should not go? It was a decision that was made here at the White House. This is where the United States needs to exercise leadership, not just at the law enforcement level, but at the broader strategic level. Obama's actions or inactions, I cannot even explain. Carl Rove joins us. Nice to see you, Carl. Good to see you, Greta. Carl, if I were President of the United States and that question never got to me whether to go to Paris or not, I would clean house. I mean, if there was, you know, because that's, it seems like such a, I mean, first of all, I would expect that my advisors would say go. Secondly, if, you know, if they're going to say no, at least let me decide. Yeah, look, uh, this is a failure of the decision-making apparatus inside the White House. We don't know whether it was the failure of Dennis McDonough, the chief of staff, Susan Rice, the national security advisor, the deputy national security advisor, Ben Rhodes, whose background is in PR and campaign press, or Valerie Jarrett, who um, apparently ranges widely through all of these things. But yes, the White House decision-making process failed at its most fundamental responsibility, and that is bringing big issues to the president to make a decision. But you know what? it's not just the fault of those four people it's the fault of the president the president of the united states has not created a white house that challenges him that properly advises him that that provides the kind of support and direction and decision making that the, that the president of the united states has to have well do we even know whether or not i mean maybe the, you know it's it's I don't, i'm just guessing but i mean i'm just throwing it out there actually that maybe the president did know about it maybe he was told maybe they're covering for him because it was such a profoundly stupid decision not to go maybe you know, and, and you know maybe they're protecting him and frankly that's probably a good idea because i'd like to think that my president uh didn't know about it rather than that he uh, made a decision that was just flies in the face of what most people think should have happened yeah, well, look, I, I agree. I'd rather that he that he was kept out of the loop rather than he making a really bad decision. But on the other hand, look, I I, I don't think they're lying. I just, uh, you know, the, 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 this you can't contain that entirely. And if somebody was aware that they did talk to the president, uh, there'll be a piece of paper, there'll be some memoranda, there'll be some note someplace that'll eventually come out in the archives. So no, I, I don't think I don't think they're lying to us. I think they're for for once telling straightforward. We we didn't think that this rose to the level of a presidential uh, decision. Now. Again, I, my point is, is that this happens because the president of the United States has created an environment inside the White House in which people get away with that kind of stupid thinking. If he really was not told and he really is upset about it, then at least one head ought to roll. And, uh, you know, but, but again, in McDonough, Susan Rice... Uh, you know, uh, Valerie Jarrett, Ben Rhodes. Uh, we've seen this cast of characters make all kinds of mistakes uh, for a long period of time, and and they're all at ultimately responsibility of the president of the United States for uh, lack of vision, lack of understanding, of, of wrong-headed philosophy, and very bad decisions on the international scene. Well, but you know, I mean, I don't know if I, if, how, you accuse the president of creating that environment. I mean, if if, the, if a president hires some aides and says, you know, you you make decisions, but when the really important ones come along, you you bring them to me. I mean, he can't sit and police them day in and day out. He makes the expectation that they'll exercise good judgment. I mean, I, I, how can you say that he created the environment? Well, look, I, I go back and read the two books by a Secretary of Defense, both of uh, Leon Panetta and before, before him, uh, his predecessor appointed by President Bush, both of them had uh, were very emphatic. The White House staff is basically a bunch of sycophants, people who do not challenge the president, who do not bring him bad news, and that the president is a bad decision maker. And, and look, Ben Rhodes, I, I hate to pick out this guy. I've never met him. I don't have anything against him personally, but he came out of a campaign experience, and he is the deputy national security advisor with no foreign policy background and he was the guy who negotiated the deal with Cuba in which we basically gave Cuba a lifeline in return for virtually nothing and and this is how this president operates he you know his it's his ideas it's his vision it's his lack of understanding it's his philosophy that permeates all that he does so ultimately he is responsible yes for setting the tone and surrounding himself with these kind of people why Susan Rice there Susan Rice is there because she was the loyal person who fell on her sword 
after Be uh, after Benghazi. She was the woman who went on television and said on uh, you know, full Ginsburg, uh, you know, it, this was all because of a, of a video. They gave her a job so that it, so they didn't require a confirmation, so she would never get pulled before Congress and ask the vital question of who told you to go out and lie to the American people? Who on Saturday night said Sunday morning tell them something that we know is not true? Uh, and and this permeates the entire uh, apparatus okay. inside the White House. Carl, thank you. Always nice to see you. Great to see you, Greta.